Discop Africa featured a two-day summit titled 20 Years of Television in Africa, What Next? Examining the difficulties in developing and sustaining a homegrown digital TV ecosystem that will serve as a role model to the rest of the continent. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, extensive ecosystem that is made up of um, initially the driver is government um, that among other things produces the, the, the policy environment. Right? And then you have the regulator, um, in our case um, ICASA, that then produces the regulatory environment that um, will largely respond to the policy environment. Then you have the broadcasters that eventually have to produce the content that reaches people out there. Um, you have the signal distributors um, such as Centec ourselves. Um, and then you have a whole host of people that have to produce, distribute and install the devices that people use to, to watch digital television. Um, you have the set of box manufacturers, you have the manufacturers of aerials, you have the people that distribute um, these components to um, shops, for example, um, and then you have the whole host of um, installers around the country that eventually uh, put things together in homes. First of all, it's a, in this ecosystem, everybody has to cooperate. Um, just to give an example, if you, uh, for somebody to, for somebody to, um, uh, to go and buy a set-top box so that they can go on to uh, and watch digital television, um, they, have to be, they have to know that there is something like um, digital television, so there has to be communication there. Um, the person who they buy from has to stock um, that, um, the, the components, the set-top box and the areas. That means that they have to know that some people are going to buy, so they are taking some risks. They are going to work with some distributors to get the boxes there. And then uh, everybody will do so on the basis that there is content that is coming in, right? So one, there has to be a lot of coordination between the different parties. There have to be certain things that have to be agreed on. And then, of course, there's a lot of things that, are, that people can do independent of each other. Um, and at the end of the day, what is important is the dialogue, the continuous dialogue between the different parties, um, so that eventually we are all able to um, deliver the, the, the promise of digital television to um, to citizens. Uh, you have to have a digital network. That's where Centre comes in, right? Um, and we have a network that pre pretty much covers the whole country um, already. Then you have to have content produced. For example, if you're the public broadcaster, there's a lot more channels that, uh, um, that you probably have to produce um, on the digital television platform. Even if you're commercial broadcasters, you also have to produce more channels. Um, and then if you're community broadcasters, probably you uh, produce the same channels, um, that, uh, the same number of channels that you're producing right now. Right? Um, then you, uh, we all have to then yeah, upgrade our system sometimes. Your, even your, your broadcasting centers have to be up, upgraded to, to digital broadcasting centers. Certainly the network that I'm talking about is a digital network, um, uh, different to the analog network. Right? Then you, the distribution on the, on the uh, devices themselves, you have out of the policy and potentially the regulations, you have a specification of the uh, required set of boxes. Somebody needs to do that and then manufacture. Um, it may, you have to make sure that it complies, um, the final product of the set of box complies with the original specification. So there is some kind of compliance testing uh, of, the, of the set of boxes. And then it's all about logistics and distribution uh, and then um, the uh, communication to the citizens.